Hello, good afternoon, everyone. Good afternoon, friends. Uh, we are live now in Calatrava, Negros Occidental. So what I'm going to show to you this afternoon is about how to make insecticides. So for the homemade all natural insecticides, all you need to do is, of course, garlic. We know garlic is very useful not just in our health but of course if you are doing or love gardening garlic is the most effective form of insecticides since we actually focus more on the nat natural thing so my alternative for the homemade insecticides is only garlic so I've got three garlic, you know, you know, lots of garlics anyways. So I have the mortar and pestle. So this is also homemade. And since I don't have the blender, so I'd rather use mortar and pestle. And of course, right after making or creating a homemade all-natural insecticides I have also a surprise for you surprises um, I don't know if of doing the do-it-yourself thing okay so I have here the seedlings or the seeds of cucumber I have here uh, cabbage papaya seeds and of course the pear knife or whatever you have there for as long as you can use it to make sure that um, you can uh, create uh, it's just like I don't know say in English the term itself so you need to cut the foam this is actually a junk foam so what I did is, of course, uh, put some seeds in it. So in our term, hunol. So kung maghunol ka, all you need to do is use the knife. Then you create some, like, just like a hole. It's not a hole anyway. Slit. And then we're gonna put, if you're planning to plant corn, so this is actually one way just put the corn here but make sure that uh, before you do anything and everything make sure that you need to wet the whole foam okay so I have here popcorn I'm still planning to plant popcorn in my small space here and then I have here cabbage just to make sure you wanted to make sure that at least 85 percent of germination of your seeds because there are things that might affect the seeds the germination of your seeds if like say for example you are going to prepare for a pot or something wherein you're going to put the seeds so make sure that you sterilize everything because there are a lot of uh, fungi or fungus causing in the soil fungi in the soil so your seeds won't survive so aside from cabbage i actually have the cucumber I put it here and then i have the papaya seeds so i just wanted to make sure that i could maximize the small, small space that i have because I am so sure uh, with lockdown because there are uh, cities, major cities in the Philippines right now who actually declared extension of ECQ. So if you know I don't have the or I don't know if I cannot go back to Cebu, so I'd rather focus on gardening here. Just to make sure 
my time is useful here in Agros. Okay. I don't want to sit here and do nothing. So I just wanted to make sure that I could uh, maximize the resources. <clears throat> and let's go back to natural insecticides. So all you need to do after uh, removing the, the skin, so all you need to do is use the power of your mortar and pestle. So you're going to put all the cloves of uh, garlic that you already prepared. So. Then after doing you need to prepare since I don't have a spray uh, I cannot go to San Carlos City the nearest city in my wife's hometown actually is San Carlos City so <clears throat> I'm so sorry for the noisy background okay so I, I couldn't buy a spray or something so I just wanted to make sure that you know I could use a substitute for that so I use um, the bottle of purified water okay. you know the brand <laughs> famous brand actually so I'm gonna put the uh, water but there are actually a lot of things so many things on how to do all natural insecticides you can either boil this boil the garlic and then mush it after boiling you are going to mush it and then put in your sprayer and spray it in your plants or vegetables because that could actually help there are a lot of minerals you can, that the garlic actually contains it contains a lot of minerals so, <clears throat> you know, there are 116 uh, minerals and the, those main uh, nutrients in the soil are potassium, nitrogen, so NPK. So those are the major nutrients that our plants need. So you can actually use this this would actually serve as a foliar because you're gonna use your improvised bottled water to spray it on the lids leaves of uh, your plant okay so you can use this improvised one if you don't have a, a sprayer because majority of those gardeners actually has this uh, sprayer they put the insecticides or foliar for, uh, filter, uh, fertilizer in the sprayer and then spray it on, on the leaves of the plants. So it's easy and fast. It's easily absorbed by the plants or vegetables because in the leaves there is what we call a stomata. So there is a pores, it's just like a skin. So they can easily absorb the nutrients if you're going to spray it on the leaves. So there are actually many ways on how to uh, use uh, those uh, resources within, within your reeds. Okay. So right after... Uh, Pounding this uh, cloves of garlic. What I'm going to do is prepare water. Okay. Then mix it with uh, the the crushed cloves of garlic, and then wait for 24 hours. Or you can spray it right away, but much better if you spray it before 8 o'clock because early in, in the morning the pores of the stomata actually is open the pores
the leaves actually open just like our skin so much better that if you're using insecticides or foliar or whatever it is you're gonna spray it on the leaves uh, it's before eight okay to make sure that uh, the leaves would fully absorb whatever nutrients you're introducing to the leaves or insecticides whatsoever so I prefer to do um, sustainable agriculture practice sustainable agriculture because it couldn't harm the nature and at the same time it couldn't harm uh, your body as well your, your family are eating those vegetables and, uh, you're like spraying uh, or if you spray insecticides in it then uh, it's it's not actually good for your health so that's it that's that's the bottom line why i would preferred to use natural because they said nothing beats the original nothing beats natural and uh in my previous vlog you've seen the the organic fertilizer that i already created so this may actually take two weeks or two i could apply this <clears throat> and i will show you after a week what happens to this diy of mine okay you will know that you're the first to know that so if you're watching my vlog right now so you can get some ideas in it it's one way on how to maximize the resources uh, within your reach okay all those uh, resources within are actually useful if you know how to apply it just do some research if you don't have the idea just do some research you have all the resources like YouTube. If you have the cell phone, they said if you're using your smartphone, and if you didn't know how to to use it, how to function it, you're not using a smartphone, but you are using a dumb phone. Okay. So once again, this is uh, Homer, and thank you so much for watching my vlog. I'll update you, keep you posted. Uh, whatever. DIYs or natural approaches to farming. This is not actually farming. It's, um, it's like mini garden, home based. So if others are doing home based jobs, this is actually home based gardening. So you can do this without leaving the comforts of your own home. So you're just loitering in the four corners of uh, your home, actually. So once again, get to take care of yourself. God bless you all. Thanks for watching. You may have a wonderful day. Bye.